Sometimes a battery may look like it's completely empty or even broken. You try to measure voltage between negative and positive pin and your DVM shows zero. So should you throw this kind of battery away? Maybe not. We are going to have a closer look at the circuit which is built inside of some lithium batteries and how this third pin may be used. Let's do it. I disassembled this battery and there are two chips. Uh, one is just a dual MOSFET transistor, but the second one is an interesting one. It is a battery protection chip. This is the schematic for the chip. Here are the MOSFETs. This is the chip and there are also a few other components. Now, what does it mean when circuit like this is inside of a battery? It means that if you measure zero volt between negative and positive contact on the package of your battery, it doesn't necessarily mean that the battery itself is bad or damaged. Basically, what is probably happening, the protection circuit detected that your battery voltage is too low and it simply disconnected the battery from the pins which are placed on the battery package. This way it is protecting your battery so you can't discharge it too much. When the discharge protection is active, it also means that when you charge your battery a little bit, uh, you may be able to measure the voltage there again. So a dead appearing battery may be suddenly alive. I say maybe because there are some differences between the chips and features. For example, have a look here. When a battery is connected to the IC for the first time, discharging may not be enabled. In this case, short the VM pin and VSS pin or connect the charger to restore the normal condition. Or this is interesting. Zero volt battery charge function available and available. Some battery providers do not recommend charging for completely self-discharged batteries. Please ask battery providers before using this zero volt battery charge function. Other features of this circuit are, for example, overcharge protection. So in case the voltage across the battery is too high, the overcharge protection MOSFET will disconnect the charger or if overcurrent uh, or short circuit is detected, if uh, voltage across this transistor is too high, the chip will disconnect the battery. Most of this is possible because of this VM pin. The chip is measuring voltage on this pin and based on the voltage it will decide what should happen. And this VM pin is exactly what we can find as the third pin on the battery package. In this case it is connected via a 100k resistor. Under this video I attach the data sheet of the chip and MOSFET, so if you like you can have a closer look at how exactly it works. I really hope this will help you to save some batteries. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button. If you would like to see my future videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.